So just two days ago, this was a completely different dog. And it's amazing to see, and that's that's really the reason I'm doing this video is because fostering can have such an impact on a dog's life um, in such a short period of time. I'm pretty sure this dog's from Puerto Rico. It's been in a shelter his entire life. He's only four months old. But the point is, is if he had stayed in a shelter and just got adopted from a shelter, he would have had a completely different life. Because when we brought him home two days ago, he was completely fearful of everything and anything, especially other dogs. So we had, um, we had foster puppies here before him, and one of them got adopted a few houses down. And we exposed him to that puppy. He wanted nothing to do with him. He was nervous. He was snapping at the puppy. And Casey actually came in and asked me if he just didn't like dogs what I thought if, if he just didn't like dogs and she she actually asked me that a couple times um, because when he was snapping at Shenzi she, he, she asked me again and what I said to her was no he's just nervous but Casey's been around dogs for a very long time she's a vet tech she works with dogs every day so if he had gotten adopted without coming to a foster home just by everyday people, they would have gotten him around dogs and or tried to introduce him to a dog and he would have snapped and that probably would have been the end of it. it, it they wouldn't take it a step further. You can't just bring this dog into a dog park and hope he's okay if he's snapping at dogs because if a dog snaps back, that's game over for um, Taco here. The thing is, is that the fostering process is so important the, for a rescue organization to have fosters that are consistent. And there's we don't foster at, a lot at all, but there's some fosters that foster every opportunity they get. And they're amazing, amazing people because they expose these dogs to things that they're going to have to be exposed to to be in a home. But they they have the opportunity to do it in a way where they can help this dog stay in a home and have a completely fulfilled life. Using this as an example, if he didn't come here, he would have been nervous around other dogs and most likely the people would have just caught it, caught it at that, maybe hired a trainer, but um, they would have been super nervous to get him around dogs and who knows if they would have even been able to that's all it took was two days so two days and he's a completely different dog just completely different you don't have to necessarily take a dog in for two weeks and just completely alter your whole lifestyle it can be as short as a couple days all we had to do was just really get him to be okay with the other dogs. And that's what we did. We didn't bring him home for that reason. Casey brought him home because he was super cute. But it just so happened that he needed this and now he's gonna be able to have a way better life than he would have had if he didn't go into a foster home. Right, bud? Thanks.